Good morning and welcome to day two of the Stanford Carbon Management Workshop on Engineered and Hybrid Solutions for Carbon. My name is Sarah Salter and I'm the Managing Director of the Stanford Carbon Removal Initiative and I will be your host for this event. We had an excellent workshop yesterday. Uh, Jim Williams talked about some learnings from US-based systems modeling. Uh, he illustrated that all foreseeable net zero US energy systems will require carbon capture and very importantly, all scenarios reaching net zero, zero will have at least a two thirds re reduction in emissions. Negative emissions are complementary to, not a replacement for carbon mitigation. Sabine Fuss talked about the need for a portfolio of options diversified across technologies and geographies, since each approach has its own advent advantages and risks. Understanding public perception and engaging in a broad societal discourse will benefit us all. In the carbon to value session, we learned that CO2 to value considerations sit at the intersection of cost, tonnage, and incorporated CO2 uses. And while there are a number of carbon capture and storage projects in development today, there are many potential co-benefits with bio-based approaches for value that need to be further explored. Today's theme is engineered and hybrid solutions. What is new and at the edge? This slide shows the topics we'll be covering today, as well as the speakers in each of the four topical areas of direct air capture, BEX, carbon mineralization, and bio-inspired solutions for carbon. The goal is to hear from each speaker for 10 minutes each about what's really leading edge in the technological area. The facilitator will then host a dialogue between the speakers and probe into things like where is the technology headed and what's holding it back. I'd like to mention that we had one change from the original agenda. In the BEX session, EJ Bake from Stanford will be replacing Katrina Rennell. 